I bet you wouldn't have your feet in there if that was a real crocodile. Well, it isn't. How would you like to see some real crocodile? Yeah! Right. Let's play us safe and go to the KwaZulu Natal Wildlife Crocodile Center at Lake St. Lucia, where you can learn all about them before seeing them in the wild. Close your eyes and press your magic rhino badges. When a wild crocodile, we'll see your great big toothy smile. These guys have heard the dinner call. Chicken on the menu today. Did you know that there are as many as 21 different kinds of crocodiles in the world? The crocodiles we have in South Africa are called Nile crocodiles because it was along the Nile Delta that they were first seen. These crocodiles here are more used to people than those living in the wild. That doesn't mean that they aren't strong and dangerous. <laughs> That's why they're kept in enclosures. Oops, sorry about that. Next time I'll use the zebra crossing. Crocodiles have been around for more than 200 million years. They were here during the dinosaur era. I say, I say, anything left over for a late diner? Their appetites change with the weather, and they eat more in summer than in winter. Now, take a closer look at their teeth. You can see there's a lot of them. As many as 66. 33 on top, and 33 on the bottom. We only have two sets of teeth. Crocodiles have 45. Okay kids, it's now time to check in on the baby crocs. So it's really special to be able to hold one this small um, and they just are very, very unique. Where's uh, its eyes? Its eyes are right there, staring into your eyes. <laughs> okay, and crocodiles, this guy very small, still has a lot of growing to do. Do crocodiles hatch from eggs or do they are they, they born alive? From eggs. Eggs. Good. eggs. Very eggs. good. And what the mother will do is she will lay uh, 45. That's right about there, 45 eggs or so into a nice sandy spot. After a few months, little babies will hatch out. Uh, like this guy. But I know what they do when, when a tooth comes out, another tooth comes out quickly. That's very good. What will happen is, like sharks, they have thousands and thousands of teeth and they're stacked like ice cream cones in the mouth. And when they lose a teeth, <laughs> maybe when they're eating a piece of meat, it falls out into the food. Another one will fall down and replace it. Up. Very interesting. And what crocodiles will do is stay at the water's edge, submerged in the water, and only the eyes Quickly. and the tip of the snout will remain above the water. So they're very, very good predators and they'll sort of will surprise their prey if it's a buck or something that comes down to the water's edge they'll spring out of the water very quickly crocodiles are cold-blooded you guys know what cold-blooded is mm -hmm. they have close they have cold blood so they lay in the sun that's good yeah so when it's cold the crocodile has to go in, in the sun when we're cold what do we do we put on a jersey or a sweater yeah. easy if you're a crocodile ah, or a real warm that's right because we're warm-blooded if you're a crocodile or a snake you need to go in the sun to heat up, and you need to go in the shade or the water if you want to cool down. What he will do is, you can see these scales on the back. Go ahead and feel it. Very hard. Some little ones. Very hard. And what's actually inside there is thousands of tiny little blood vessels. And when he crawls into the sun, the sun will hit those, hit those scales, and the blood vessels inside, the blood heats up, and the blood goes all throughout the body to the hearts and the arms and the legs. So he's, he's very efficient at warming up and cooling down. Can all three of us hold him? You can. Aww. So I want you to, to, to tell the difference between the bottom and the top of the animal. See, it's very it's smooth. Looks like glass. Very different scales than the top of the body. How many different types of species are there in crocodiles? Cameron, that's a really good question. In South Africa, we only have one species, the Nile crocodile. It's a very widespread species in Africa. It was first discovered in the Nile River, as you can probably tell by its name. But worldwide, there are several dozen different species of crocodile. Uh, like what? Like the dwarf crocodile and the, the long-snouted crocodile. A lot of those are endangered, though. 
Crocodiles are, are feared by a lot of people. A lot are unnecessarily killed every year. But they're very important to the ecosystem. They eat a lot of fish and they help keep things in balance. Okay, kids. Mommy's calling us. Time to get back. Come on. How did it go? We've never seen so many crocodiles in any one place before. They're very sleepy creatures and they hardly move at all. But when they do, they're very quick. Would you like to see them in the wild? Yes! Let's see what I can arrange next time I see you. Bye for now. Bye! Bye.